This tastes like paper. I know, you can hardly tell the difference. This is why God invented trans fat. What is this? It's a soy donut. I call them sonuts. Oh, uh, 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 Tasty, isn't it? Uh, uh. Speaking of nuts, internet dating. A world filled with sex and surprises. Two things you usually don't want to go together. And in the story where it follows, one British man is about to find out it's always better to look before you click. Ooh. Sorry. She looks nice. Let's take a look at her. Okay, she likes cooking, going out for walks, uh, she likes films. Uh, okay, um, her favourite film is You've Got Mail. Not sure about that. Yeah, you know, you might expect somebody in my position to be swarming with girls. Uh, yeah, I've got my own internet show. I get over two thousand views a week, uh, which I think is even more than the Nostalgia Critic. So that shows how popular I am. And you know, I can't go to a convention without people recognising me. The last one I went to, some people ran up to me and they were desperate for a photo with me. Um, they thought I was in Big Brother. I wasn't. She looks nice. She's Spanish. Cool, I love Paola. I don't like using my fame to take advantage of people. You know, it's not fair. You know, I've, I've got legions of fans who will throw themselves at me. Literally, once. That was messy. Uh, but, you know, I've, I show respect to people. I show respect to my fans. Not like Welshy. He laps it up. He shagged a divorcee behind a chip shop in Swansea once after she recognised him. I found this pretty cool looking girl. Um, she's from Ireland, which it's a bit of a bummer, but um, you know she seems switched on. She seems quite cool. So we've talked a few times on Skype, uh, and she's agreed to uh, video chat with me. So uh, looking forward to that. You know, to see if we like what we see. So. Oh, hello. Coming. All right. This is exciting. Oh, God. Are you alright? Yeah. You? Yeah, I'm fine. It's good to see you. Is it? Yeah, it is. How you been? Yeah, not bad. Oh, I'm really sorry my phone's ringing. Um, it's my dentist. Um, I'm going to have to call you back. I'm really sorry. Bye. Did you see her? She was scary. I can still hear you. I think women are maybe just intimidated by me. You know, I'm I'm a writer, I'm a director, I'm I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a philanthropist, you know. Women just don't know how to handle me. I think I'm fighting a losing battle here. What do you expect from a free dating website? It's like sifting through shit, hoping you're going to find a nugget. A, a gold nugget. Ooh, what do we have here? Here we go, M. Brilliant. She likes films, cinema, DVD. 
It's not too bright. And holy shit! Look! It says she likes Channel Awesome. Can you believe that? She must be a fan of the site. Should I message her? Actually, what if she doesn't like my stuff? I don't want to put her off. Maybe I should ask her out on a date, but not tell her who I am. Um, and then leave, you know, leave it as a surprise. Okay, I'll do that. I've had a fair few first dates. Um, a lot more second dates, um, which went well. Uh, very well, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I'm confident. Um, they'll probably scream when they see me or faint. Um, but I'm used to it. Agreed to meet in a restaurant, um, which is sort of midway between where we both live. She lives about 30 miles away, um, so it's only fair. Uh, I uh, try to be a gentleman when I can. It just means when she agrees to come back to my place, it'll be a longer drive. If she wants to split the bill, that's fine. Um, you know, I don't like to deny a lady of her independence. Um, you know, a strong woman to turn on. Um, you know, even if she wants to pay the whole bill, you know, I'll, I'll let her. Um, just to show her that I don't mind. Just be the place. So yeah, I hope I'm not late. doing here? M is it? Well, yeah, but... But what? Oh, I don't know, Michelle? Michelle, what? Your name on the dating website was Mish, as in Michelle? When I first set up my profile on the website, it kind of screwed up my username. Um, I wanted to avoid being Mike or Mike J, so you know, people didn't approach me just for my fame. And uh, I, I wanted to put Michael, but it, I didn't realise it only had the first four letters of your real name, so it uh, it ended up being Mish. Slightly annoying, but it hasn't been a problem so far. Well, what about you, M? M for Matthew. What, you couldn't come up with something better than that? <laughs> what, like Mish? Oh, I'm not having this, I'm off. You could at least eat something before I order you a drink. What is it? Honestly, genuinely had no idea I'd set up a date with Mike. I mean, why would I? His username was Mish. When we spoke, he described himself as being beautiful, and his favourite activities were gardening and cross stitch, so. So now what? Relax. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy myself? With you, sat there all. short? Oh, come on, at least be civil. Are you sure you didn't notice me? Positive! Why would I intentionally set up a date with you? Well, I don't know. Maybe you've got some kind of secret love for me. waiting for you to fall into unconsciousness so I can lunge across the table and have my dirty way with you. 
Oh, no, it sounds like something off of that guy with the glasses' secret. Come oh, on, it's at least secret treehouse material. No, that would be you as a baby while I babysit you. You know, I actually read a different version of that story. Where you say you're... No, all right, all right, all right. It's, enough. it's really not as bad as you might think. I mean, you simply stick your finger into an electrical socket and zzz, you're electrocuted. And then I simply take off my trousers and bum you until you wake up. Can we not talk about slash fiction, please? All right, fair enough. You brought it up. And I'm dropping it. The only time I want to think about me touching you is when I'm smacking you in the face. Do you have to be so aggressive? You've just got one of those faces. There you go again! What exactly have I done to you anyway? Apparently you've set us up on a blind date. Well, I'm sorry that I didn't know you were apparently masquerading as a woman on internet dating sites. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Can you blame me for being suspicious? No, but put yourself in my shoes for a moment. If this is all just a complete coincidence, don't you think I'm wondering the same thing about you? Why the hell would I set up a date with you? To mess with me, baby? I'm not the one who brought an entire documentary crew with me. Come on, sit down. We can at least be civil enough to have one meal. And we'll just pay the bill, leave the restaurants, go our separate ways, and never speak of this again. Thank you. I kind of want to blow out that candle. Why? Is it making you uncomfortable? Yeah, take your orders, guys. Yes, I have minutes, please. Purposely trying to be difficult. I haven't decided what I want to order yet. Oh yes, of course, because we're spending far too much time bitching. Well, what do we expect? I thought I was late tonight. I shaved my balls and everything. <sighs> you ever heard the phrase TMI? Actually, yes. That Matt. That would be TMAI. Ugh. And you haven't even touched your drink yet. Fine. Is there a back exit to this place? Is it rude if I just walk out? Little shit, better pay for those drinks. What are you doing? Getting you another drink. You know this is a restaurant, they bring them over for you. Consider us a peace offering. So, are we going to try and get along now, or are we just going to keep on arguing? We can try. Hey, cheers. <laughs>